Nah, can I kick it? Thank you. Yeah, I'm so grateful. I grew up really wanna go fronts, but that's what you get when Wu Tang raised you. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. And now we take a brief check at the matchups. Our starting five for both teams. And guys, check it out. Ricky Rubio, what can we expect here? Well, the focus on his defense mainly because he's outstanding. You try a crossover or a hesitation move on him, and you're likely to get your pocket picked. You've got to be careful with the ball. Also, guys, so often we see him playing possum at the defensive end. And then all of a sudden, he springs into action, picks off the pass, and ignites the fast break. Looking at the last game for the Phoenix Suns, it was a loss to the Golden State Warriors. Finish off the break. Yeah, nice fast break from start to finish, guys. Especially on the back end. I mean, he polished it off perfectly. And Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Inside the favor. And he takes the feed and stride and sends it home. There it is, guys. That old defense. Just watching him go Clark right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Green. And the rejection by Rubio. Gasol gets to Green. And taken away by Ellis. Green's it is to Rubio. And good on the basket. Book it. Rubio's got his second bucket of the night. Well, I'll tell you what. The defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Back to Green. And there's the feed to Ross. Favors. Covered by Pekovic. Shot off the pick. No good. And Minnesota will come the other way. Now what's the pass to a reason? Oh, and they get in the way of the alley. -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And Green gets it to go. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. That's the first miss for this offense. They've hit three or four to start. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. I was able to talk with Jeff Hornacek for a moment. His biggest concern seemed to be how to contain Monte Ellis on the offensive end. He said, quote, no matter where he is on the floor, he is a threat to score because he can get into the lane whenever he wants. We'll just have to try and get the ball out of it. How did you say that? I didn't hear it well. Hands on the offensive end. We'll see if they can do just that. Thanks again, Doris. Here is Ross. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Kevin, a look here at how the Suns ranked in the NBA last season. First in scoring, second in assists. And they were number two getting into the passing lanes and coming up with steals. This team really prides itself on getting after the ball handler and attacking the ball on defense. But when you get down to it, I mean, the identity of this club is that they score the ball. Number one in the league, they have so many ways to hurt you, and that seems to inspire them with confidence every single game. It's going to be two free throws, Drew contact on the shot. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. And they can't make their second free throw either. Missing both. The Minnesota Timberwolves come into this one following a loss to the Clippers. Rubio gets a screen from Pekovic. Back to Ellis. Got a piece of it. And now Carter Williams pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Yeah, Kevin, there's no question that he's one of the players that people pay to see. I mean, he's capable of some real artistry in terms of his dunking and his athleticism. I would love to see one or two here today, Steve. I don't know if he plans them or if they're spur of the moment, but I do know this. They're always spectacular. And the Timberwolves making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. 
And Rubio kicks to Ibaka. Timberwolves passing it around. O'Neal guarded by McGee. Back to Ariza for the three. Another miss by Minnesota. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Ibaka. And favors with the block. Green gets to Ross. And they take the lead. Ross has got his first basket of the night. Drop that one in as soft as a feather using the finger roll. Rubio dishes to O'Neal. It's stolen by Green. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Favors with the ball. It's Ibaka picking him up. Outside, Green. Ross, that's good. And let's get your take, guys, in the hustle stats for Phoenix. Well, their frenetic defense has really been impressive, putting a lot of pressure on ball handlers, turning them over. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. Yeah, he's trying to take the wind out of their sails. I and mean, they're on the wrong end of a bad run. They gotta sort things out. I think things were very close to spiraling out of control if he didn't burn one there. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. Tipped away. Feeds to Ross. The pass to Morris. He dishes it to Carter Williams. Outside, Green. Lock at six. Here's Ross. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. They need this. And Monte Ellis hits from deep. Ellis has got six. Phoenix has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Now here's Carter Williams. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. No good from Ross. Now here is O'Neal. It's Ellis on the way. Wide open. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. And it's eight points for Monte Ellis. It's all tied in Phoenix. And we'll be back. <laughs> and we got a close game. Game here as we get back to the second quarter. What stands out to you from the Suns in this one? And I thought the key to that first quarter, guys, was the turnovers they faced with that aggressive defense. Well, the defense, as you said, Steve, has been really aggressive, and it's paid off for them a few times already. On the court for Minnesota, Lexi Shved is out there with J.J. Barea. Then it's Turioff. Then there's Buddy. And it's Slater in at the fourth one. Here's Barea. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Dragic with it. Now guarded by Berea. Morris passes to Jackson. And it's blocked by Slater. Buttinger with it. Passes it to Slater. Kicks it to Buttinger. Dishes it to Schved. And there's the call on Jackson. That's his first foul. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Pekovic is checked in. Shved the pass to Pekovic. There's the dish to Shved. Muhammad, he feeds it to Berea. From outside, off the mark. And here comes Jackson, leading the fast break. With the lead pass. Goodwin, good. Well, he's a really difficult cover because if he gets anywhere near the rim, he can finish. Great strength, the ability to convert in the lane. Boy, that's, that's tough to defend. And applies even if he has to absorb contact getting to the rim. Prokovic, the 10-footer, finds the target. Pekovic has got his first points of the game. Rogic kicks to Goodwin. Back to Rogic. He passes it to Plumley. Turioff with the block. 
Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And Muhammad throws it down. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. What great hustle uh, defensively through two quarters of play, contesting everything. Starting to rack up those block shots, guys. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. Now here's Gasol. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Minnesota's gone 0-2 from deep here in the center. Pass to Pekovic. Fires from 14. And it's Gasol with the rebound. The Suns have gone 2-4 shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Plumlee. And the shot is long. Timberwolves shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Berea with it. Now guarded by Plumlee. Muhammad dishes to Turioff. Timberwolves passing it around. Here's Shved. A finger roll finish at the bucket. And the Timberwolves lead by two. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. Now here's Plumlee. Goodwin kicks to Jackson. The feed now to Goodwin. They get it again. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. Minnesota making some changes. Baca comes in for Ronnie Turner. And Trevor Ariza has subbed in for J.J. <laughs> Was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. And now a four-point Timberwolves lead. The solo alley-oop. That's not something we see too often. Uh, timed it perfectly. You're right. And uh, caught the defense totally off guard. I remember Tracy McGrady doing that. First guy I ever saw pull that off. Tucker the pass to Dragic. Five on the clock. Tipped. It's going by Abaka. The nine-foot shot. A reason to what? Here's Tucker. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Good defense, but gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. 59 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And Schweig kicks to Muhammad. Pass to Ibaka. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Abaka's got four points now in the quarter. Suns trail by four. It's Trogic with the drive, and that one's good. Here's Schved. You know, with the time left, they can trade two for one here. If they hurry. Ariza with it. Gasol covering. Pekovic dishes to Schved. Off target from outside. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they chase down that pumpkin often. Gasol passes to Tucker. Back to Gasol. Plumley. He kicks to Dragic. Favors dishes to Dragic. Feeds to Tucker. That's tipped. Muhammad with the steal. Good if it goes. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Signs have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out a way here in the third. You have to like what we're seeing from Monte Ellis. I think like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he, he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half. And see if they were all good looks. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. Gerald Green out there with favors. Then it's Terrence Ross. Then it's Paul Gasol. And it's Carter Williams in at the one. Who's out there for Phoenix? It counts and the foul. Ricky Rubio picks one up. Boy, he just battled through that initial impact and somehow willed it in. Excellent concentration. 
That's what you like to see. Here's a look at some stats for Serge Ibaka. How his season went last year, first in blocks, 18th in steals, and he was among the top 20 rebounders in the league as well. So this is a guy who had a lot of double-figure nights on the glass. And you called attention, Steve, to him being the shot blocks leader in the NBA. I mean, without a doubt, his presence on the low block gave him a dimension that very few teams enjoy. Having a presence there that can throw shots out of there, that's big. Boy, he's got a nice-looking stroke. That almost went in. Yeah, a lot of times, he'll hit that shot regardless of the defense. And Gerald Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Ellis gets to a reason. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. That's a poor possession. You just give away the ball with a sloppy pass. He dishes it to Favors. Now the pass to Carter Williams. Green gets to Ross. Back to Green. Cranes the three point. Green's got now. And that kind of defense is just not going to cut it. Guys, they, they have to get a hand in his face. Back to Pekovic. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, <laughs> yeah. Kevin. I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. It's stolen by Ibaka. And now Minnesota on the fast break. It's tipped. Fast break, here come the Suns. Here's Favors. And a strong finish with two hands. Mark, third quarter here and five lead changes so far. Yeah, it's really been a bit of a tug of war. Back and forth we go. Yeah, both teams playing well. Neither club able to pull away. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. And stolen by Favors. Lays it in off the breakaway. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked down. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. This is outrageous. Every shot they're taking right now seems to be finding the mark. Literally every shot. They are absolutely rolling. Minnesota calls timeout. You know, he just isn't pleased at all with the looks they've given up defensively inside. So I think this timeout is all about trying to get his group to tighten up defensively. They just don't look very sharp to me on the defensive side. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. JaVale McGee's checked in for Gasol. Marky Morris comes in for Derek Favors. And it's Drogic in for Carter Williams. Here's Morris. And that's good. And it's Drogic with the assist. And now an 11-point Phoenix lead. I love the flow that they've been playing with offensively tonight. This is an impressive performance. Well, and that lead they have just continues to grow and grow. And it's Phoenix's ball. What a stretch they've got going here. 17-2. Nice ball moving by Phoenix. Green, the pass to Dragic. Dives for it. A second chance effort. And Green puts it in. Green's got 11. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far, Steve. And even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category, it's still a significant factor. Ellis dishes to Ibaka. Rejected by Morris. Fast break here from the Suns. Here's Ross. Uses the glass to finish the win. Six points for him. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. Back to Ellis. Here's the three. And Pekovic kicks to Rubio. And it's Dragic with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Timberwolves call time. They've been very untidy with the ball here. Commit turnovers when you try to do too much or you force it. They need to focus on making the simple play. Good passes and moving the ball around. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Gerald Green. And you can feel the momentum swinging. They needed that shot badly. Steve, I sense some frustration here. It seems like they're getting a little frustrated. It's understandable because they've given up this big run. And that one's good. Zanich has got his second bucket tonight. 
I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. The shot's good from McGee. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Suns? Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. Here's Ross. McGee, the pass to Morris. Leads him in there. Rogic dishes to Tucker. Morris. Ross kicks to McGee. And it's Javon McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. The turnover difference hasn't been in their favor, but you know what? It hasn't really slowed them down too much. I like the fact they're staying aggressive here. Rubio, the pass to a reason. Rubio outside. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Well, it's the edge they've had in that area, on the glass, that's played a big role in this game. Yeah, they've got some strong guys, Steve. Guys that are strong and well put together, and they've used that strength to their advantage down low. They're getting on the roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. The defense has to make an adjustment. They've got to string together some stops, or at the very least, try to force this team into some bad shots. There's Ellis with the three ball, and the shot is good. Ellis has got 11 points. Ross, he's guarded by Ellis. Fires the three, and that's not going to go. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits at Mick. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Suns lean by 18 on the court for Minnesota. They've got Buttinger. Ellis is out there with Ricky Rubio, and it's Ibaka, and it's O'Neal in at the five spot. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. You get the ball inside and just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow.